What is going on guys? Joel here back with another video and today I'll be showing you some of my top favorite jailbreak tweaks for iOS 9.3.3 that you should definitely check out. This is a video that a lot of people have been asking for and these are going to be my favorites. Now without wasting any time, let's dive into the first tweak and that is on the lock screen which is known as lock glyph. So with lock glyph, what this does, it adds the Apple Pay completed payment animation to your lock screen and animates when unlocking the device with Touch ID. And you can actually customize this to different colors. So when it's idle, I have it set to gray, but whenever I lay my fingerprint on there, it starts changing to red. Now you can customize it even more by downloading additional lock glyph images that can be found in Cydia. For example, I downloaded this lock glyph Apple Watch image here so you can get really customizable on this, even add your own logo and things like that. Now next is a tweak called Activator. This is actually an older tweak, but it is a very useful one. This simply allows you to set gestures, different shortcuts, and a lot more to different things on your device. So for example, I have mine set to whenever I plug in any type of headphones using the headphone jack. It gives me this new menu that allows me to select a different music application. So whether I want to use SoundCloud, Spotify, Apple Music or other applications, I can set that here. So you can set menus and things like that. I'll leave instructions of how to set that up if you're interested down below in the description box. But there's plenty more things you can do with Activator. You can get really creative and set things like double tapping on your status bar will play or pause a song or you can have it launch your favorite application things like that there's so many things you can do with it but it's definitely a must-have tweak on your device now speaking about the status bar let's talk about how you can actually customize it as you see here my battery icon is actually different and that's all thanks to alkaline here i have an android like battery icon so alkaline simply allows you to change the battery icon on your status bar and while we're talking about the status bar let's move over to the left and this is zeppelin zeppelin allows you to change the carrier logo to a variety of different icons you can change it to batman superman anything like that or the apple logo and again you can even get more creative by adding your own logo which i have done in the past um, but right now i just have the android logo as you see here which is pretty cool Moving on to animations, we have Cylinder. Cylinder changes the animations when it comes to switching from page to page on your springboard. There's a variety of different animations you can choose from in the Cylinder settings. So as you see here, you can randomize it or you can just change just different animations, which gives it a cooler look and I always get compliments of what I'm doing with my device and that's thanks to Cylinder. Now next let's talk about a social media application that so many people around the world use and that is Snapchat. So there's plenty of things that I wish Snapchat did or allowed you to do and for one I wish it allowed you to upload individual photos to your stories or videos that you've taken in the past to your stories. Now though, with the latest updates for Snapchat, you can do that, but it does tell you on the top right when it was taken and things like that. It's quote unquote memories. With Phantom for Snapchat, it acts like if you just took that photo, so if you have a photo that you took last year or something you wanna share, that's on your camera roll, whether it be in a photo or video, you can do so and it'll seem like you just took that photo or video. There's so many things you can do with Phantom for Snapchat. You can do things like changing the amount of seconds a video can record. And also you can change the geo tag. There's a variety of settings you can mess with. And for those of you who follow me on Snapchat, this is what I've been using for the longest time. So this is the secret to all my Snapchats. Now, if you haven't added me on Snapchat, feel free to do so. That's where I post majority of things that I'm doing. Uh, behind the scenes or upcoming videos and things like that. I'll leave a link down below in the description or you can simply place your Snapchat camera right here to the screen and then it will add me instantly. Now while we're talking about social media, let's talk about Instagram. Instagram, there's a load of features that you wish you had or at least I wish you had. And with this tweak called Insta Better, Instagram gets a lot better. It gives you more features that the official Instagram application does not. 
So things like holding down on an image or a profile photo allows you to zoom in even closer and gives you a full resolution photo of it. Also, you can check things like if a certain person's following you, it'll actually notify you by clicking on their profile and right under that, it'll say if they follow you. There's more things you can do with Instabetter, but those are gonna be some of my top favorite things that you can do with this tweak. Now, next up, let's talk about volume banner. Now, this tweak is something I wish it was native to iOS and it simply allows you to change the volume HUD that normally displays right in the middle when you're watching a video or things like that. It now displays it up top, similar to what you see on Snapchat and things like that. So it doesn't interrupt you from what you're doing if you wanted to change the volume on your device. Now next, if you wanna customize the Messages app, Messages Customizer is the tweak you need. This allows you to change things like your text bubbles and your background and your keyboard and things like that. So as you see here, I have a dark mode enabled where everything is darker and I have my text bubbles changed to red whenever I'm communicating with somebody who has iMessage as well. So it simply gives your messages app a whole new look by letting you customize it. Now speaking about customizing, Spring to Mice 3 is probably the only jailbreak tweak you need if you wanna customize your device because this allows you to change things from your springboard, your icons, your status bar, your dock, everything like that. As you see here, I kind of have more of a simplified look to my icons on my springboard because I've disabled the labels on my applications. I've disabled the dots that indicate what pages or how many pages I have. And I've also resized my icons. So there's so many things you can do. If I went into full detail on this certain tweak, it'll take probably more than 20 minutes just on this simple tweak. I've actually have an older video that goes full in debt with Spring Demise 3. If you wanna check that out, I'll leave a link down below in the description. Now next up on the list is CC settings and this deals with Control Center. So when pulling up Control Center, you will see that you have these toggles up top but with CC settings, it allows you to customize your toggles. So now I have the low power mode toggle right up top, which I wish was native to iOS once again, because that's something that I use quite often whenever I'm using my device. If my battery is running low, I would like to have a simple way to toggle low power mode instead of me going to the settings. I can now simply swipe up to activate control center and then just tap on low power mode and enable that. So you can replace the toggles in control center and even have more toggles displayed at once. Now, lastly, I wanna talk about power tap. Power tap is something useful because I jailbreak my device and I install a lot of tweaks. And what power tap allows you to do is when you press and hold the power button, instead of just having the option to slide to power off, if I tap on that icon, it switches to either slide to reboot or slide to respring. So I use the respring option a lot. So now by holding down the power button, I can now switch to respring or I can reboot because that's not an option or a feature that the native iOS has. But power tap gives you that option and it's a nice looking tweak because it looks native to iOS. But other than that, those are gonna be some of my top favorite must have jailbreak tweaks for iOS 9.3.3. Now in the comments, let me know what your top must have jailbreak tweaks for iOS 9.3.3 are. I'm interested in checking those out or maybe there's some tweaks I haven't checked out in the past, but these are some of my favorite ones that I think anybody who's new to jailbreak should definitely consider and check out. But as always, if you did enjoy this type of video, let me know by hitting that like button as it not only shows support to the channel, but of course it lets me know that you enjoyed this video. Now, if you're not yet following me on social media like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, all that good stuff, all of my links are down below in the description. That way you'll be up to date with what is going on and some behind the scenes and things like that. And lastly, if you feel like being awesome, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're not yet. That way you'll be notified every time I come out with all of my latest videos. Anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Appreciate your support very much. And uh, I'll catch you all on the next one. All right. Peace.